Hello ladies and gentlemen, back by popular demand, it's the dry erase board. You may notice I'm speaking a little bit louder because I have to project my voice so that you may hear me uh, because I don't quite yet have my mic situation sorted out. And you may hear a comment or two from the dinosaur that's in the other room, but that's okay. He's a big fan of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar also, and he wants to hear what I have to say about today's topic, which is the mathematical interface on the grammar that you hear a lot of people talking about. And this terminology gets bandied about almost frivolously by all sorts of different people. But do they really know what it is? Let's find out. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope your day is going well. I hope it's going as good as mine. I'm having a great day. Blessed to be having a great day. And blessed to be here to show you the very simple mathematical interface on grammar. I'm going to put it on the board right now in numerical form. One plus two equals three. Three minus two equals one. You see what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen. We have our factors, which would be the numbers. And then we have our signage here. We have the order of operations. We have a plus sign. We have an equal sign. Minus sign, equal sign. Equals meaning that this and this are the same value. So basically, and I'm not going to go into the whole entire thing, I'm going to try and boil it down so this is a very short video. I'm going to give you the main gist of it though. What happens between here and here so that these factors maintain the same value here as they do there? Whether it's forwards or backwards, what happens? What is changing, so to speak? What is moving to reach that conclusion? Well, it's the plus and the minus. This turns into that. Now, how does that happen with correct sentence structure? I'm going to show you. So you see here, for the claim of the facts is with the knowledge by the claimant. Backwards, that becomes for the claimant of the knowledge is with the facts by the claim. What's happening here is the same thing that's happening up here. For becomes by, of becomes with, plus becomes minus. So when you read it backwards, it's for the claimant of the knowledge is with the facts by the claim. The positionals are the key to this. The positionals function much the same way as the plus and minus, the order of operations. That's how it can work forwards and backwards. Now I'm going to show you a very important uh, mechanic when you get into a longer correct sentence structure. And if you implement this mechanic into your correct sentence structure, you will always be correct with the mathematical interface. As you can see here, I've made a longer sentence. Now it says, for the claim of the facts is with the knowledge of the claimant, with the certification by the contract. Backwards, how would that look? Because now we have one, two, three, four, five, six position lodial fact phrases. Well, I'm going to show you. Well, first I'm going to read it out, and then I'm going to show you. So to read it backwards, it would say, for the contract of the certification is with the claimant of the knowledge, with the facts, by the claim. How does that work? Here we go. So here you have it. For the contract of the certification is with the claimant of the knowledge with the facts by the claim. Now if you remember, the way it was forwards, it said for the claim of the facts is with the knowledge of the claimant with the certification by the contract. So why is the verb 
basically in a different spot now. Well, what is verb, ladies and gentlemen? Basically, a verb is thinking. It's movement. It's the only thing in the sentence that can move. So the one rule of thumb for correct sentence structure, when you're creating these correct sentence structures, is that you always have two positional audio fact phrases in front of the verb. Whether you're going forwards or backwards, always two. Never one, never three, never four, always two. Because you need two points with which to establish a straight line. Bam. Now you can put your verb in. This is this. The cause of the sentence for the contract. This is this of the certification for the contract of the certification. Now you put your verb in. Now you can put your possessive in with the claimant of the knowledge. So on and so forth. So then when you read it backwards, the same thing applies. For the claim of the facts, then you put your verb in, is, with the knowledge of the claim, with the certification, by the contract. This is the cause of this sentence. When you read it, well, the original sentence was forward, but in this case, cause, concern, Cogitation or verb, possessive, another concern, possessive, and then authority. And it works the same backwards too. This can become the cause for the claim of the facts is with the knowledge of the claimant, with the certification by the contract. You see how this works, how simple and easy it is. This is the mathematical interface on the grammar. I've tried to do it as fast, as simple, and efficient and clear as I possibly can. I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments field. If you want to learn this grammar, if you want to apply for a correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar workshop, hit me up at the email address at the bottom of your screen. I will schedule a 10 to 15 minute video consultation. I've been teaching this grammar to hundreds of people all over the earth for five years, ladies and gentlemen. I've had a great success rate, and I just keep getting more success and more success, uh, having people get, you know, gain autonomy and things through the grammar. It's a beautiful thing. If you want to support this channel, please hit the join button at the bottom. There are two tiers of membership. One tier is just to support, and I do appreciate your support. And the other tier is for exclusive content, content that's not available to the public. But I will say this. There are 500 videos or so on this channel, free to you, the public, if you want to learn this technology. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.